Hello, welcome to Chris Linford's Co.UK Get Going Guides. Uh, this is a tutorial on getting your websites up and running. Uh, this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, the control panel within your web server so you can see what it's doing and we're going to be focusing in the later tutorials on what, how to actually control these and set up uh, some specific details. So the first thing you have to do is go to your host and I'm using Big Wet Fish and then you can go to here we'll go to a, a client area that have a logon area on your account and then you enter your domain name your username they've given you and the password and we want to enter the cPanel which is the control panel for your web server I've already done that so I've got uh, my cPanel up and running so what we want to do is to have a quick look at uh, this uh, control panel and what kind of things it does the first thing that's very useful is right at the top uh, it's got a get started wizard which plays you some videos uh, to guide you through uh, any issues and there's videos in all sorts of uh, places on here and there's video tutorials as well which you can uh, have a look at and they tell you all about uh, various parts uh, of it so if you want to see a video on how to do something uh, then uh, it gives you lots of options there all in one place. These also appear when you are looking at your um, cPanel controls uh, often they give you a video uh, controller. Now when you had your host you were probably given a password uh, and other information uh, which is a secure password normally but sometimes you might want to change those so if you want to change the password for you to enter uh, into the web server you can just click on here you just again here's the video tutorial uh, you can type your old password type your new passwords and it will tell you if your password is very good or not you really want to have a good secure password um, and you just click on change password now it also has an automatic password generator which will give you a load of gobbledygook letters and numbers in upper and lower case uh, to do that uh, here's some uh, piece of information it gives you on these. This is comments through the whole of cPanel, bits of guidelines on what you should do uh, and what you shouldn't do uh, through it. So, so that's quite uh, useful. Uh, if you want to change your contact information, so the email address that uh, the web host will contact you on, then you can uh, change your information here. And also, if you don't like the look and feel of this particular cPanel, uh, you can modify it to however you want it to look. So here are loads of different styles and themes, uh, which you can just choose uh, to make it look a bit different and a bit more personal uh, to you. Personally, I don't bother, I just keep it as it is. But the main thing about cPanel is it, it gives you all the information what's going on on your server and all the control of it. So here we've got on the left hand side around here we've got all the stats uh, on your server. So it's got my domain name, the hosting directory, uh, when I logged in, how much disk space I'm using uh, out of my configuration. So I'm filling up quite high so I'm going to need to get some more uh, disk space. How much monthly bandwidth I'm using. So I don't use a lot of bandwidth because I use a lot of external services. I've only got one email account which is chris at chrislinfordco.uk to email me. Am I running subdomains? No, I'm not at the moment. I haven't got any park domains, uh, which are domain names. Like I might have chrislinford.org uh, or something which I'm just parking there uh, and not using at the moment. And it goes through all the different things, how many databases, what packages I'm using, what server I'm on. But something that's quite useful at the bottom is if you've got some trouble with your server, you can just click on the server status and it just tells you what's running and what's not not running. So if there's something gone wrong with your server uh, you can see uh, roughly uh, where it has gone wrong and then you can contact your support people with some information but normally I find they're already on the case when you uh, contact them. So other things cPanel can do is you can set up your email services so we'll have a look at those later on. Uh, you can use these ish files uh, to manage all your files and your file transfers so we'll be looking at FTP accounts uh, and stuff later on. Then we've got logs where you can look at all the information that's going on it, who's coming to your site, what are they looking at and all the statistics uh, within it. Then we've got security so it's got all the uh, secure socket layers manager all the stuff if you're going to be running uh, an e-commerce site uh, you'd want to uh, set that up. 
Then we've got uh, subdomains and domain management. So if you want to buy some more domains to work on your website or you just want to sit on some domains or just park them uh, or domain redirects. So I've got the .org, I've got the .com, but I want them all to go to one site. Then you can redirect them from that and we'll have a look at those later. Then SQL databases. This is where you can run databases on your system. Very important for things like Joomla or you're running a blog. Uh, then you need to do, uh, set these up uh, but if you're using other systems like Soft Delicious here in the software services it will set them all up uh, for you and here we've got CGI centers uh, computer gateway interfaces uh, for uh, handling different programming a lot of these things if you don't know what they are you probably don't need to use them yet uh, so if in doubt you, you, you can just leave them alone and then at the bottom we've got some advanced what they call advanced things where we've got stuff we can manage images we can have error pages if something's gone wrong front page extension if people make websites virus scanners so you can protect it and mime types uh, from there so we'll have a look at those uh, as we go along so really that's the C panel nothing to be scared of if you push a button you can always go push the back button up here or you can just click on the home page button to get back to where you started and if in doubt just log out and log back in again it's as simple as that if you need more information contact me on chris at chrislinfordco.uk or via youtube or itunes and good luck with your server the next tutorials will be on how to set up your email accounts